Hello everyone, so what we're going to talk about today is aseptic non-touch technique, but this time using a um, performing a procedure that we um, have to touch with our hands. So we've got to touch a, a sterile part, a part that's meant to be sterile with our hands. If we're going to do that, we're going to need um, a pair of sterile gloves like we, had, like we um, showed you earlier. We're also going to need a field or an area where we can put all the sterile products down on. So in this trust we use a wound care pack, but each trust you go to might have a different version of this, or they might have individual packs for individual skills. So you're going to be using this kind of procedure when it comes to catheterization or things like that, um, which we're going to be learning later. So once you open up your wound care pack, it's all sterile until you then touch it, and what you're actually touching with your hands, what I'm touching with my hands, is the part of the sterile field that's actually going to be touching the table. Um, the table that you've got, or the area, or the area that you're going to be placing it, the area that you're going to be placing it, you must make sure you clean it with wipes, and you must make sure you clean your hands before you carry on with this. So once it's all clean, it's all dry, then get your wound care pack out, and then very carefully open it up, only touching the sterile surface in the very corners, or not at all if possible. So very carefully open it up, taking your time, the longer you take, the more control you'll have. Making sure you give it a nice good pull so it's nice and tight, so it sits nice and flat onto your chosen area. Okay, once you've done that, you'll see all the stuff that's inside the packet. The first thing you notice is the great big orange um, bin you've got here. So what you can do with this is you can pick it up, and then you can, if you want, use it as sort of like a temporary glove. So you can then put your hand inside it without waving it all over your body, and um, collect all the stuff that's inside your pack. So you've got the sterile gloves here. These are medium, so I won't be using those ones. They're a bit too small for me. You've got an additional sterile field here, which um, you can do to cover the area that you're going to be working on, like the cannula or the wound or whatever. You've got another sterile field here. You've also got five sheets of gauze here, which you might use to clean the area. And you've got a pot for liquids that you might be using. Once you've done that, the bin, you can either take the plastic strip off and stick it to the table that you're working on, but I tend not to do that because it tends to any weight will make it fall off. So what I tend to do is I put the um, bin somewhere close to me, but somewhere that if I do go to my area that I'm working, so for instance we're going to clean it, I won't have to travel over my sterile field to get to the bin. It must go from sterile area to where area you're working then to bin. Okay, once I've got that all out, I then need to get the products that I'm going to be using, so you either your dressing or uh, this time I'm going to be using the stuff we use for a flush. So remember that this syringe is completely sterile inside this packet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up now. I'm not worrying about the key parts this time. But I'm just going to open it up without touching any part of it and I'm going to drop it onto my sterile field and put the rubbish on my bin. The same with the needle. I'm going to make sure that I don't touch any part of the needle. I'm going to carefully open it and drop it onto my sterile field. And then the saline, I'm going to do all the checks that I normally do for the saline like we did before. But I'm going to then think, well, actually, this pack, this outside is all non-sterile. It's all dirty. And I could clean it, but that's a bit laborious. So what I'm going to do is open it very carefully, as we did before. And I'm going to put the liquid inside um, the pot that contains liquid inside the field. So when everything's ready, I've got all the stuff I need. So now I need to start touching the um, sterile um, products. So I need to put on a pair of sterile gloves. So I'm going to put those on as we did before. So try and be as careful as I can be when I'm opening up the package and just touching only really the very outside of the package. Nothing beyond the creases, so you don't contaminate anything. And then I've got my gloves in front of me. I'm going to hopefully recognise that the, um, the thumbs are on the outer edges. And I'm going to try and put these on very carefully without contaminating any of the um, outside of the glove. Now, if you might get your finger like stuck as you're putting a pair of gloves on, that can be something that happens all the time. And um, just don't panic about it all. Just um, try and work with it, and then try and use your glove, uh, put your glove on your other hand like you would do normally. Okay. 
And then once that's on, you can then actually use that to then sort out your other hand to make sure your fingers all go into the right places. Now I've got my gloves on, I can touch anything that's sterile, so I'm just going to draw up my flush as I would do normally. And I can, don't have to worry about putting that back in the packet because it's all sterile, I can place it onto my field. Now you might get to the point where you think, oh I've done everything but I've just forgotten one important part. Well if you've done that, you will need to contaminate yourself in order to open it for instance some gauze. So you could um, do that and then you could need to replace your sterile gloves. Or you could ask your colleague um, to come over and then place the product on your sterile field if they, if they can. So then you just have to keep out of their way let them open the packet and hopefully they'll drop it down right in the middle of your sterile field and then once that's done you can then grab the product and do whatever you need to do with it. So that's um, doing um, aseptic non-touch technique where you need to touch the key parts with your hands. Okay, thank you very much.